midst of this kind of craziness <laughs> that we're going through. So yeah, here's everything. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your help. Oh, it's all good. It's all love. love right That's real love. I called you in a panic and you answered right away. Two, two hours ago, she <laughs> called me asking the cat help her move. And I love you so much. Uh-huh. <laughs> so here's a trash bag. When I say that I love you, I am saying that you awaken a place in me where I am loved. The feeling of love is always within us. I said, don't go looking for, looking for. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Blooming with Ayana. I have been trying to make this video for the last two months now. And when the fires occurred, my asthma was um, definitely in flames. And I had chest tightness. I was really tired from all the smoke in the air. So that definitely prevented me from making this video and then i had a few road bumps in the way but we passed that okay and now i'm like making all these excuses on trying to find the perfect time when i feel good when my skin is clear when i'm in shape when i'm here when I'm, i keep trying to find the perfect time realizing there's never going to be a perfect time you just have to do it so if there's something you are putting on hold just go for it get it done you know you're never going to have that perfect time because life is going to throw curveballs at you regardless if you're ready or not. So here we are. It's funny that I actually been struggling with this chakra video the most because the throat chakra is all about communication and creativity. And these are some of the departments I've been struggling with in my own life. So I wanted to start this message off with love today because we all come into this world searching, looking for love. Every human being wants to be loved. So I just wanted to start the video off with love because love is part of our foundation. When we come into this world, it takes us back to the root chakra. The root chakra is our foundation. So if you were lacking love in this foundation, you are trying to fulfill a void as you grow up and it comes to the point where we got to look at ourselves and we have to love on ourselves and how do we do that how do we truly love ourselves love is within you and sometimes we have to experience things in life to reveal what we need to learn in order to deeply love ourselves. So the question is, well, what is love? God is love. The higher power is love. Whatever you call it is love. Sometimes when we love people wholeheartedly, we may develop some unhealthy boundaries. Personally, I've been struggling with the throat chakra because I have had unhealthy boundaries in my life. And when you have unhealthy boundaries with people you love, a lot of issues start to arise because one person may be taking on too much responsibility in the relationship than the other or maybe none at all and we just see people you know fall out of touch with each other because of unhealthy boundaries so when i say deeply love yourself and deeply love others we have to know when and what kind of boundaries we need to have 
in order to protect our peace. The throat chakra is all about finding your voice, finding your purpose in life, speaking your truth. How do you express yourself? How are you communicating to yourself and to others? Today, we're going to focus on balancing this chakra. Are you balanced? Is it overactive or deficient? When the throat chakra is balanced, we are able to speak and listen and also express ourselves openly and authentically. But when this chakra is out of balance, we tend to ignore how we really feel or we have a hard time expressing ourselves and trouble listening to others. And when this chakra is blocked, it stores tension in your body. So you might have like a lot of tension in your neck and your shoulders. So we want to balance the chakra so we can live freely, move freely, and express ourselves authentically. A deficient throat chakra may consist of allowing people to cross boundaries with you. You may not even have your own voice being able to freely speak your mind. You may also have a hard time just communicating in general, and you might be a little secretive and private. A overactive throat chakra is someone who is clearly speaking too much or inappropriately. Maybe you have a lack of control of the things you say. You may be overcritical to others and yourself. And you might struggle with listening to other people when you're overactive in this chakra. My favorite thing to do when it comes to balancing the throat chakra is by affirming myself. Sometimes if I don't have a mirror, you don't have to have a mirror. But if you do, look in the mirror and look at yourself and affirm yourself and tell yourself, I feel comfortable speaking my mind. I set clear boundaries. I am balanced in speaking and listening. I speak my true thoughts with ease. So sometimes I I have to tell myself these things because we may not be in a place where we can hear it from someone else or we may not have someone else to feed us good positive, energetic words. Another tool we can use to balance our throat chakra is by being clear on setting boundaries with ourselves and with others around us. So the first thing we want to do is grab a pen and a paper and write down anything that comes to mind. So first we want to identify and name your boundaries. Second, we would want to be direct in what we think and what we say and what we need. Third, we want to be assertive and stand up for our boundaries because we live in a world where you have to teach people how to respect you. So if you want to be respected, you have to know what are some things you need. And lastly, we want to always remember that we are respecting others and their boundaries by treating them with kindness and respect. Speaking of kindness and respect, I wanted to share the five rules of Reiki with you guys today. And what I do is I write these rules on notepads and I just stick them wherever I am at the most. So whatever is easy access for you. So personally for me, I have these rules at my desk. And the first rule is just for today, do not worry. Just for today, do not anger. Just for today, be humble. Just for today, be honest. Just for today, be compassionate towards yourself and others. 
So I know a lot of you are wondering why I, I started this video off with this random video um, with my uncle and my cousin. So long story short, I have had the longest week ever. Literally in September, I was like, okay, universe, okay, God, what's next? And little did I know, nothing in my life has gone as planned. So where do I start? Beginning of the week, it was crazy drama, crazy drama. I got involved with someone who didn't close doors and he didn't know how to handle that. That's okay. That's another, I'm, I'm saving that. <laughs> I'm saving that story for another video. <laughs> After all this drama occurred in my life, right? Um, what day was it? What is today? We're October. So Friday, October 23rd. My cousin and I, we decide that, oh, we're going to have pot roast for dinner. This is my first time ever cooking pot roast. So I was really excited. We go to Trader Joe's, get all the ingredients. And um, as I'm coming back home, I was like, oh, let's look at this apartment because my lease is up in December. So I'm like, let's go look at this apartment um, and see what it looks like, see what area it is, because it's in the same apartments that I was already in. So I, I saw it and I was like, let's go see. And then I was like, oh, okay, I like the location. So I give them a call. And I'm like, hi, you guys, you know, I would like to schedule like a tour of this apartment, to see how I like it. And then... I come home, we get the pot roast going. Next thing you know, I see some water in the kitchen. I'm thinking, oh, the fridge is leaking or like the dishwasher. I don't know, we're like, something's leaking. Next thing you know, my whole bathroom is flooded. There's water in the living room, water in my closet. We're like, what is going on? Like, then I go outside and there's water like falling from the, the stairs. I'm gonna drop the video of what I saw. So I'm like, this is crazy. Like the apartment above us is having a huge like water leak. And I call them in the panic, like, hey you guys, um, there's like water leaking from upstairs. And so they come and they check it out and there's like water everywhere. And in the midst of all of this chaos, I'm like, I'm still gonna make this pot roast. Cause I was determined to get this pot roast. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so, um, in the midst of all that chaos, I was still able to get my pot roast done. It was so good. It was a, an amazing pot roast. Loved it. Um, but then, like, in the midst of that, we have the pot roast cooking. And we're still going to go tour this other apartment. So we checked this apartment out. I loved it. I fell in love with it right away. So I was like, oh, my God. Like, this is perfect. It's amazing. So then we go back into our apartment. And it's just chaos everywhere. And I get a call from, you know, the apartment, the, the apartment management, and they were like, this is really bizarre. Things like this really don't happen. Um, but we want to offer you the apartment and we would like to get you in today. So that was October 23rd. And I'm like, today? And me and my cousin were like, oh my gosh, like, is this really happening? So yeah, we ended up having to move uh, in two days. So from October 23rd to 25th, I had to move all of my stuff into this two bedroom, two bathroom, beautiful, renovated apartment. And I'm so grateful. So we had to move within two days. And I called the first person I call is my uncle CJ. What's up, CJ? Thank you so much for coming through for your girl. I love you. Um, so I called CJ and I called my dad, but they were the only two people that came to mind. The only two people that I knew I can count on. And that feels really good to know that I have people like that in my life. Well, I did not get emotional when I talk, but it feels really good knowing that I have that kind of support. They came and they moved my couch, they moved my bed, they moved my dresser, my desk. Like they moved all the heavy items for me because that's like the things I knew I couldn't do. I was like, look, I don't want to break it down. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to break it down. And like, thank you guys 
so much for coming through for me. It means the world. Um, yeah, it was just, it's definitely, th this is where I talk about, like sometimes we focus our attention on the wrong things. We have love everywhere. There's love everywhere. I go to the grocery store and people are so loving. And sometimes when you're angry and when you're upset, you look past all of these loving things, these loving signs. There's love everywhere. So when you have love within you, you see the love outside of you. You have to know it's here. It's right here. Um, so thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for helping me and my cousin. Now my cousin has her own room. We were sharing a one bedroom, one bathroom, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. That was insane. But we did it. And I'm so grateful to have my cousin in my life, Ty, you are my absolute best friend. And thank you for growing with me. Thank you for loving me on my best days and on my worst days. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You know what it is. Um, thank you to my grandma for coming through and hanging up all my clothes. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you to my brother for helping me financially. I appreciate you so much. Thank you to Ty's brother and his roommate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Like, y'all, without you, like, it really takes a village, you know? So I'm so grateful for my tribe. I love you guys so much. And I'm really excited to see what the future is holding next. And, you know, I was already planning to move, but just seeing how my plan did not go according as planned. Like, I've been looking for a new apartment for months now. And I was like, Citrus Heights, Fair Oaks, where? And I just could not decide. And I finally, it just, it just fell into place. Like, it legit just fell into place. So whatever you're worried about, just stop because life is not going to go as planned. Just go with the flow. Um, so with all of that being said, you know, I just wanted to share a little bit of my life with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to talk to you guys again. I will see you next time. Okay. Namaste. Bottom and we made it out the struggle Do this shit for my mama, my older sister, little brother If we got us a problem, we call up doing a heat of muscle Different day, different problem, and every day's another hustle Everybody said they need me, then deceive me I done lost some of my family, cause they get greedy If this shit was really easy, then you would be me Niggas shouldn't never try this shit we do on TV As a little kid, I used to want all that designer Now I walk inside the store and I buy anything I want to ring a bat and that and this and I'ma give it to my mama 